Changes could soon be coming to Wood Street in West Oakland. This has been one of the largest homeless encampments in the city, but soon Oakland wants to turn the site into affordable housing. I'm really still kind of speechless. Freeway Blaylock is a current resident of the camp. She, along with many others at the site, learned Friday morning they will soon have to leave. A federal judge announced he will lift the restraining order that allowed them to stay there. The judge had an opportunity to do the right thing and they failed to do so. So now it's our turn to step up and show everybody why we're holding down the fort. The city owns this land and wants to build affordable housing on it. Last year, the restraining order blocked the city's plan until officials could find housing for those at the encampment. On Friday, Oakland confirmed it now has a series of portables set up up the street that are ready for use. Today, Oakland confirmed it now has three places to house them. The nearby Wood Street Community Cabins, St. Vincent de Paul Shelter in Uptown, or the 66th Avenue Safe RV site in East Oakland. And with that, the judge announced he will soon lift the order. At Friday's hearing, Oakland representatives say they can start moving 30 residents into these temporary shelters starting on Monday. However, the Wood Street residents we spoke with say they have no plans on moving here anytime soon. We're not. We're staying right here. In a statement, the Oakland City Administrator's Office said, while the final court orders have not yet been issued regarding the Wood Street encampment, the city remains committed to expanding much-needed affordable housing at the city-owned site. Once the city determines a date for the encampment closure, we will post notices at the location to give residents a minimum of seven days advance notice. Outreach workers will be on site to assist residents in understanding their shelter options. Their statement went on to mention additional resources to help those residents transition into full-time housing and finding jobs. And soon, Oakland will open up more space for RV parking. Blaylock says she is happy where she is and doesn't want the city to break up her community. This is the only place that I've that I've ever felt like I really belong. And um, it's the only thing I have left to fight for. In Oakland, Ryan Curry, ABC7 News.